Council, City Clerk Sue Richards, please uh, read the quote of the evening. <clears throat> Certainly. Good leadership requires you to surround yourself with people of diverse perspectives who can disagree with you without fear of retaliation. Thank you, Sue. Uh, Sue, would you please call a roll? All right, folks. We're trying something new this evening. Um, we have been working long and hard on going to a paperless initiative, which we started about a, the last council meeting. Now we are going to electronic voting, so you all are going to have to be patient with us. Alderman, you all have a little electronic voting pad in front of you. They're all programmed for your name. The only ones we're going to use on here is number one, two, or three. For roll call, we'll do this one first. For roll call, if you're here, Hold on, let me get it. <laughs> and I don't want here. any, <laughs> there cannot be any abstentions. I'm sorry, you are here. All right, let me get the slide up. All right, we're gonna do the roll call first. You see all your names up there. So all at once, I need you to push number one saying that you're here. Oh, very cool. That worked! Yeah. Yeah. Welcome to the 21st century. All right. All right. Leaps and bounds. We have 15 present, Mr. President. Thank you, Sue. Alderman Belt, would you please lead us in the pledge? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now we will have the swearing in of Mayor elect Terry Van Akron. to have you repeat after me the following. I, Terry Van Akron. I, Terry Van Akron. Swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. Swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of Wisconsin. And the Constitution of the State of Wisconsin. And will faithfully and impartially. And will faithfully and impartially. Discharge the duties. Discharge the duties. Of the office of mayor. Of the office of mayor. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, approval of the minutes, Alderman Decker. Thank you, Your Honor. I move to approve the minutes from the previous council meeting. Second. It's been moved and seconded to approve the minutes of, this sec of the council meeting. Any discussion? All in favor is going to push number one for aye, number two for... Okay, wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. He, forgot. he forgot his clicker. <laughs> My shadow over here that's helping. Might be a little slow going at first, but we will get the hang of this. Everyone that approves, push one. If you don't approve, push two. All right, that was easy.
15 ayes. Motion carries. Let's keep this up. 15 nothing looks pretty good. <laughs> it's working well, right? Yeah. Resignation, Steve. Uh, there's a letter to the mayor from Jeffrey Goins advising that he's uh, resigning as the University of Wisconsin Sheboygan representative on the Sustainable Sheboygan Task Force effective immediately. Alderman Decker, need a motion. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to accept and file. Second. It's been moved and seconded to accept and file the resignation. Are we ready to vote? No. Okay. I want to excuse my, I do have a cold, so please bear with me, folks. Don't we like the way computers speed up our lives? Accept and file, push one. Jeremy? Really? <laughs> 15. Motion carries to accept and file the resignation. Public forum? None. None. Oh, That's wow. wow. We're on a move. Mayor's announcements. First of all, I'd, I'd like to just thank everybody for being here tonight, the friends and family that are here. Um, Councilmen, I'm looking forward to working with all of you. Uh, some of you I've talked to, I want to talk to all of you in the next week or so, meet together and um, let's do this. I can't do it alone. We're going to be doing this together between the council, the department heads, and the citizens of Sheboygan. Uh, it's time we move, work together to unite the community and let's move the city forward together. Before we get started, I'd like to take a minute, uh, moment of silence for Alderman Bourne. If we could all rise. Alderman Bourne uh, died on Bowers. 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Common oh, Council. Alderman Bourne. Yeah. That's pretty good when you answer when I said you. <laughs> Alderman Bowers died on Friday. I'm sorry. Alderman Bowers died on Friday, and I uh, ask you all to rise and join me in a moment of silence. Thank you. Okay, we're going to... Um, we're going to go to the agenda, but we're going to take like a five-minute recess, just allow the cameras and stuff to clear, and then we'll go to our agenda. So we'll take a five-minute recess. All right. We're all back and ready. Um, moving to the consent agenda. Two... One through 217, Alderman Decker. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to accept and file all our O's, accept and adopt all our C's, and pass all resolutions and ordinances. Second. So we move and second to accept and adopt our all, all our O's and our C's, and pass all resolutions and general ordinances. Again, if we're ready. We are ready for a roll call. Everybody that's. A yes, push one, no, two. The answer is no. And it's 15. It was 15 to none. 15 to none. Motion carries. Report of officers will refer 3 1 through 3 6. And now to resolutions. A resolution. Terminating the Common Council's removal proceedings involving Robert Ryan, Alderman Decker. I haven't been pushing that. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to approve the resolution. Second. It's been moved and seconded to move the, to put upon its passage. I mean to, yes, go ahead, mm -hmm. Alderman Decker. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Just under discussion, this is just basically housekeeping. Um, it's time to put this one aside and move on. Thank you. Okay, any further discussion? To vote aye, you push one. To vote Hang no, on. hang on.
presenter, David? Yep. 50 nice. 50 nice. the motion carries. A resolution accepting the agreement for the City Professional Police Association, Officers Association, for 2012 through 2014 and authorizing the Collective Bargaining Committee and the Chairman of the Committee of the Salary and Grievance to sign the agreement. Alderman Ressler. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move that the resolution be put upon its passage. Second. It's been moved and seconded to have the resolution put upon its passage. Under discussion, Alderman Bourne. Thank you, Mayor, Mayor Van Akron. I'm wondering if Mr. Amodio or something could, uh, or Mr. Amodio could fill us in on just the uh, uh, thumbnail sketch of what this agreement includes. I, I haven't seen a hard copy of it myself. So if, if he could just go over what the length of the contract and what it includes, et cetera. Mr. if you'd like to come on up. Next, the term of the, uh, the agreement with the uh, police patrol was exactly the same as the uh, uh, police supervisory. It's a three-year contract. It's 1.5% in January, 1% in July, 2.5% um, a year over three years. And for that, um, they gave 4% to WRS year one, 5.9 years two and three, as well as 12 to 15% on uh, medical contributions, depending on whether um, they took the, uh, the wellness test or not. It's about $150,000 savings year one. If I could just follow up. All the way more. Thank you, Mayor. And what would the savings projected to be for the ensuing years of the contract? Closer to $200,000. It takes it from, uh, the only change is going from four to 5.9%. Thank you. Any further discussions? Okay, seeing none. Clerk will call the roll when she's ready. Ayes would be one, noes would be two, abstain three. Joe? Oh, sorry, <laughs> those readings. <laughs> Motion carries. Resol 4.3, re resolution authorizing the city attorney to engage in special outside legal counsel with regards to a quasi-juridical hearing for beverage operator's license number 8447 and authorize the payment of said services. We need a motion from Alderman Van I move to suspend the rules. Second. Second. It's been moved and seconded to suspend the rules. Is there any objection? Any objection? Proceed, Alderman Van Dooley. Move that the resolution be put upon its passage. Second. It's been moved and seconded to, put, to have the resolution put upon its passage. Is there any discussion? Alderman Sampson. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I was just wondering if we can get a little detail behind why this is coming about. The person, um, the license, the operator's license, he has been into, had quite a few um, disturbances where he works um, with the bar that he was working for, and he hasn't come forward when we've invited him in, so now it's going before a quasi. Thank you. All right, any other discussion? You need a vote to suspend. On the vote to suspend first. Oh. Is the clerk ready? I am. All right. One, if you agree to suspend. Two, if you, no. Everybody's oh, in. Already, uh, suspended the rules. Oh. Pardon me? She said they already suspended the rules. I just didn't take a vote. Oh. Yeah. So she wants to take all votes tonight. I just tonight. was taking a vote. To suspend to the suspend. rules? Okay, you don't need to, but it was unanimous consent. Right. Oh, I'm going to take my vote okay. back. I think she wants to get used to the board. I just want to get used to the board. Oh, yeah. We're going to vote on everything. All right. All right, now to vote, on, vote on the motion to uh, authorizing the city attorney to engage in special outside legal counsel. Again, one, f are we ready? Oh, yeah, we're 
we're done. Oh. Fifteen to none. And the <coughs> resolution <coughs> motion passes. This is going to work really well when we get faster. <laughs> four point four resolution calling for a binding referendum on whether or not the city shall continue to have a full time mayor. If voters so choose, the alternative should be reducing the role of mayor to a part time position. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I would ask that uh, this resolution, along with document six point one seven point one, be referred. Be referred to the Committee of the Whole um, for discussion. Second. Excuse me, Alderman Hammond. It's been moving. 4.4. 4.4, 6.1, All of them have to do with the salary schedules and the uh, resolution um, regarding the uh, full-time, part-time mayor. So I think it warrants a discussion at Committee of the Whole versus uh, the referendum being passed tonight. Okay, it's been moved and seconded to have it referred to the Committee of the Whole. All right. Alderman Bourne. Thank you, Mayor Van Akron. Uh, I have no objection to having those referred to the Committee of the Whole, and I will be holding that meeting next Wednesday night. I have to look at my calendar to see what time and if there's any conflict with any other meeting, but it'll be uh, a, week, a week from tomorrow. Okay. A week from Wednesday. Did you say Wednesday? Yeah, a week from, oh yeah, tomorrow, uh, I'm sorry, a week from Wednesday, yes. Okay. Any other discussion? Again, we're going to take the roll. We don't need to. <laughs> okay, we don't need to. All, all in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. <laughs> Resolution 4-5 through 4-8 to be referred. Reports from committees. 5-1, committee report submitted communication from the Sheboygan Blue Line Association wishing to submit official notification that there's desire to extend their lease upon expiration of the current 10-year term and seek approval of the city for place a mortgage on lien on their building and equipment in order to install a new bleacher system. Alderman Ham. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I uh, move the RC be accepted and adopted and the request be approved. Second. It's been moved and seconded to have the RCA accepted and adopted and the request be approved under discussion. You're still on. Thank you. Um, just a, a little bit of history. Uh, the Blue Line uh, folks are putting in a new set of bleachers and needed uh, you know, for some lien that had to come to the, the finance committee. Um, and so um, in order for them to get the uh, financing, I think the Zamboni and the bleachers themselves are going to be the lien property, which we really don't own anyways. We're just kind of clearing the way for them. Okay, thank you. Any other discussion? Clerk can call the roll. One for accept and adopt, two for not. 15 ayes. Motion carries. 5-2 in a RC from a resolution re authorizing and retaining outside counsel in connection with purposes agreements among Claremont New Frontier Resort LLC and the Chicogan Chippewa Community and the City Redevelopment Authority. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I, I move the RC be accepted and adopted and the resolution be put upon its passage. Second. It's been moved and seconded that the RC be accepted and adopted and resolution be put on its passage. Any discussion? Seeing none, we'll call the roll. Fourteen ayes, um, zero nays, and one abstention. Motion carries. 5.3, an RC and a resolution authorizing appropriate city officials to execute an op option to negotiate and purchase recommends the resolution be passed and amends the option to negotiate and purchase, which is attached. Alderman Hammond. Thank you again, Mr. Mayor. I move the RC be accepted and adopted and the resolution be put upon its passage. Second. It's been moved and seconded to have the RC accepted and adopted and the resolution be put upon its passage. Under discussion, Alderman Hammond. Thank you. Um, again, I just want to maybe clarify a little bit of misinformation that might be out there. This is not 
approving anything, um, just giving our um, city officials the opportunity to negotiate um, any land sales, any of that stuff still needs to go, not only come through this body once more, but also would have to go through the redevelopment authority. So I just want to you know, put that out there. Um, I know I've gotten some phone calls, I'm sure others have as well, saying that you know, this is going to approve the sale of the land, and it certainly is not doing that. It is just opening up the conversation so that um, we can get to that point if it's, if it's relevant. So um, again, the purpose of this is just simply to allow them to start negotiating. Thank you. Alderman Bourne. Thank you, Mayor Van Akron. Uh, <clears throat> I just wanted to call the, uh, the uh, rest of the council's attention to uh, number 17 in the, in the agreement. Uh, last Monday night at the uh, Finance Committee, uh, I brought forward a motion that passed unanimously uh, to have uh, Claremont, uh, who is agreeing to pay all of the city's legal bills. Uh, in, the, in the letter that we got from Quarles and Brady, uh, it was very clear that they appreciate the fact that Claremont is going to be paying all of the legal bills. However, the city is the one that's going to be billed for the legal bills, and the bills will be passed on to Claremont. And I just thought to cement that uh, a little bit further, I brought forth a motion, uh, and I'll just read the first couple sentences here. Uh, Claremont shall pay all actual third-party costs and expenses incurred by the city and or the authority including cities and authorities' attorneys' fees and fees of accountants and other professionals, consultants, and representatives in order to affect the transactions which are subject uh, of this agreement. Payment in full of any invoice shall be made in the amount billed by the city, the authority, or any third party within 15 days of receipt of any invoice requesting payment. Failure by Claremont to make payment in full within, within a 15-day period shall be in default hereunder and in addition to any other remedies available to the city and or the authority at the option of the city and the authority will result in immediate termination of all discussions and negotiations <clears throat> uh, until uh, payment is made in full. So I brought this forward in finance just to give the uh, the, the, the taxpayers, you might say, a little extra protection under the agreement, and with that uh, uh, amendment, I, I fully support Thank the you, document. Alderman. Thank you, Alderman Bourne. Alderman Ressler. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I guess I concur with, uh, with both of the other aldermen. I, the one thing I want to say is that I think that we need to at least give us an opportunity to see where it goes forward, and we have the ability to, um, to squash it any time after that. I'd, I'd like to see what the uh, economic survey has to, and uh, study has to say. Uh, as well as some of the other steps to go through it. So uh, I'm going to support it as well. Thank you. Any other discussion? Seeing none, have the clerk call the roll. Uh, go ahead. One would be aye, two would be no. 14 ayes, zero nays, and one abstention. Motion carries. Order, ordinance is introduced. I think we sent... First we said one six one two to committee of the whole, right. yep. and we we are referring six two and six three. Matters lied over. I believe we we uh, sent that first one to committee of the whole and seven two an ordinance amending section twenty nine dash seventy five of the nineteen seventy five Sheboygan Municipal Code so it delete the current vehicle and equipment manager and one plant operator wastewater treatment plant in the Department of Public Works and create a job description for vehicle and equipment <coughs> supervisor and lead plant operator at the wastewater treatment plant in the Public Works Department for the City of Sheboygan. Alderman... Born. Born? Born. Born. Sally Creevins. Or Corey. Sure. It's going to be here. Thanks, Mr. Mayor. I move that the ordinance be put upon its passage. Second. It's been moved and seconded that the ordinance be put upon its passage. Under discussion. Seeing none, clerk can call the roll. Go ahead and press your buttons. Jeremy. <laughs> Jeremy. <laughs> We're going to take away your clicker. 15 eyes. Yeah. Alderman Bourne. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, 
I missed uh, document number 63, the one that was going to be referred to salary and grievances. Is that, was that referred to committee of the whole also, or did we just skip that one? No, I, I said 62 and 63 were both just being referred. All right, thank just you. All right, yes. thanks. Thank you. Um, other matters authorized by law, res 8 1, a resolution. Resolution accepting an additional $25,000 in grant monies from the Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources for the Sheboygan River AOC Habitat Restoration Project. Alderman Bourne. Thank you, Mayor Van Akron. I ask for a suspension of the rules. Second. Second. It's been moved and seconded to suspend. Any. See no objections? You want to take a roll? Or? Yes, I do. And we're going to take a roll. It would be nice if I started, wouldn't it? There you go. Dave? Yep. Okay, 15 and on. Suspension is Can granted. Can I make a motion to put the resolution upon its passage? Second. It's been moved and seconded to put the resolution upon its passage. Alderman Board under discussion. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, under discussion, uh, Time is of the essence to get this additional $25,000 for the DNR and also once we get the uh, $25,000 for, 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 for it to be used for the stated purpose. So uh, Chad Pelichek asked me to expedite this and suspend for that reason. Thank you, Alderman Bourne. And any other discussion? <clears throat> See none, clerk will call the roll. David, can you get it back to 8.1? 8.1. I say no. I say no. No, I'm not running it. I think this big computer over here is going to Oh, yeah. <laughs> Since we did the suspend already. Satellite dish. Okay. Okay, we're going to do a quick roll call by, by my voice. Belt. Aye. Warren. Aye. Carlson. Aye. Decker. Aye. Common? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Kath? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Manichek? Aye. Raisler? Aye. Samson? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Bercy? Aye. Wow. 15 ayes. Motion carries. 8-2, an RO submitted for communication from Carl Isaacson, founder of Ike's Food and Cocktails in Minnesota, Minnesota, stating he was researching food and dining concepts for a new venue, a venture in Minnesota, and his travels brought him to Sheboygan. He states he was so impressed with his incredible hospitality that he's incurred, incurred while here in Sheboygan. I need a motion to accept and file. Alderman Decker. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to accept and file. Second. It's been moved and seconded to accept and file the RO. Any discussion? Clerk can call the roll. David, are you controlling something? Let me let me do it. There we go. Are you touching the keyboard? I'm not touching anything. <laughs> <laughs> I swear I'm not touching a thing. Who's on first? We're going paperless. We're going paperless. That's all there is to do it. This. We'll get there. Oh, sorry. Fifteen eyes. Motion carries. Um, eight three an RO submitted in communication from Pat A. Olham requesting the mayor reduce his salary for the remainder of the term by whatever the chief's administrator's salary may be raised. Alderman Decker. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to accept and file. Second. It's been moved and seconded to accept and file the RO. Any discussion? Hearing none. One or two. 13 eyes, two no's. Motion carries. And 8-3, an RO. That one 
That's the one we just did. That. Under other matters, Attorney McLean. Um, 8.4 is a uh, an RO by the city clerk submitting various license applications for the period ending June 30, 2012 and June 30, 2013. We will send it to law and license. Anything else? That's it. Any other business? Move Motion to adjourn. to adjourn. Second. Been moved and seconded to adjourn. All in favor, push your button for adjourn. No, that's okay. Say all eyes. Aye. 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 Opposed? <laughs> adjourn.